Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Why you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? <laughs> like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. To think, Mom wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses, when now I'm getting paid to sleep out here. Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. Aw, oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Say hi to Dr. Cross for me. Be sure to stop by the front desk. Dr. Klein has been looking for you. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. What are you doing still running around up here? We've been waiting all morning to begin the experiment. Gordon, please, go do what you've been hired to do. Shouldn't you be doing the same? You'll just have to wait until after the test. Get away from there, Freeman. I'm expecting an important message. Gordon, don't touch that. Go use another computer. Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. We can talk later, Gordon. It's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct! Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon! What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Bertal, Bertal, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, copy. Damn, Gordon! About it up to here. Try hitting control alt delete. Yep. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. I'm not smug. I'm just better than you. Drat. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza and mine here. Office complex level six. 
Gonna get me one of them jumbo size red grape sodas. Hoo hoo hoo. Man, I'm working up a mean hunger just thinking about it. You're thinking of something. Mmm, mmm. What a rudder. Who, who creates these two? Just a minute, Gordon. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Just a minute, Gordon. Good morning, Gordon. Go bother someone else, Gordon. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? I'm rather busy now. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Somebody get me a calculator. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandra Sekar limit incorrectly. And what in the blue place is a, is a raffle copter? Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Hopefully things will die down around here soon. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. Can't let you through. Not with Big Brother watching. Look, buddy, I don't stand around and stare at you all day. Well, I do, but that's because it's my job. So, go do yours. Oh boy, look sharp. Here comes the administrator. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, man, I got you good. Sergeant Dahlgren, report to topside checkpoint Bravo. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for this production, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Gordon, this had better be important. Mm-hmm. I thought not. They need you in the test chamber. Hello, Dr. Cross. I've got this under control, Gordon. Uh, 
Hello, Dr. Cross. Hello, Dr. Cross. No, no, no. Close yourself, Oscar. Ah, Dr. Cross, fancy seeing you here. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. We can talk later, Gordon. Not now, Gordon. Oh, they're right there, Mr. Freeman. I got explicit orders not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Uh, are we forgetting something? Put it this way. The sooner you get this over with, the sooner we can grab a cold one. Sorry, Mr. Freeman. No exceptions. Not even for you. <laughs> I got all day, buddy. Most of the simulation results were perfectly acceptable, you know. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Oh, these double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Can this wait till I'm off break? They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was, um, that was you know who's lunch. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like a prom dress and take off. You better make like diarrhea and run. Gordon, you've already done enough damage here. Get to work. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was 
Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. And the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. I'm rather looking forward to this analysis, aren't you? I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Listen, I'm only going to explain this to you one more time. If you have a question, that isn't my problem. It's yours. Right. And if I have a question, it isn't my problem. Oh, contraire. It is still very much so your problem. Now, do we have a problem? No. Really? I don't see a cup of coffee with two sugars and no cream in my hand. Do you? Have you seen my coffee no. cup? No. Well, that looks like a problem to me. <sighs> it's getting increasingly difficult to keep the rank and file in check. Have to make sure they understand their role in the bigger picture, don't you know? Can't let them forget. It's an honor to share this rarefied subterranean air. I confess, I too thought I was cock of the walk when I first entered these hollowed halls. But in time, I was humbled by my experiences. Ah, those were the halcyon days. Take it from me, Gordon. Youth is wasted on the young. Oh, the network servers are unresponsive. Look, there ain't much I can do about it from here. There isn't much he can do. Period. Everybody, get out your slates and chalk! Genius here can't fix the computer! Hey, I got a physics quandary for you two. What would happen to this conversation if we drop it? J. Science Everything is under control, Gordon. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. See you soon. Well, get going. Hi. Uh, hold, just hold on for one moment. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Now where did I leave that? Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto-optic modulators are on the fritz again. Pfft. 
I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. Not now, Gordon. What's up, Doc? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R, &R, know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Look at all these white coats running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Not for me. No, sir. I was never cut out for the scientific techno babble. Sure as hell don't know how a quark works, but the quarks do, and that's the important thing. I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. Greetings. Hello, old chum. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Gordon, I'm busy. Gordon, it's high time to start the experiment. Get to the test chamber at once. We've already had to cover for your tardiness. Don't waste any more of our time, Dr. Freeman. You don't want to be responsible for holding up the entire lab, do you? Everyone upstairs is waiting for the experiment's results. It took some doing, but the anti-mass spectrometer is finally ready for today. Sample GG3883 is a fine example of negative mass. I'm looking forward to the experiment's results. As you can see, we have everything in order up here. We'll begin the experiment as soon as you're inside the test chamber. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on <sighs> with our equipment? <sighs> it was never meant to do this in the first place. <sighs> it's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Go on, Gordon. We'll take it from here. No need to worry about us, Gordon. Eli and I have everything under control. I don't know if I'd call this under control, Izzy. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, and I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. 
You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. No time for cold feet, Chief. Step right up. You, you've come all this way. Suit or no suit, I sure hope you weren't planning on having kids. You know, it does cost money to keep that door open. Have at him, Doc. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day, he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Probably 
not a problem, probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the analysis port. Shut it down! Shut it down! Something's wrong! 